Designed in 2510 by Dr. Robert McLees, the Halcyon class was the mainstay light cruiser of the UNSC fleet for the majority of the Human Covenant War. Having served out its short career a decade earlier, the Halcyon class had long been decommissioned on account of its expensive hull design, poor armament and lack of speed. But the outbreak of hostilities with the Covenant Empire in 2525 inspired the UNSC to reactivate the class, bringing a number of Halcyon class vessels out of storage and refitting them for modern combat. 1,170 meters long and 352 meters wide, the Halcyon class is bulky and inelegant, purpose-built for extreme resilience. One of the main reasons for the Halcyon's retirement was the ship's expensive hull design, which incorporated an innovative system of internal cross bracings and honeycombs, affording the vessel enormous survivability and allowing ships of the class to remain operational even after sustaining breaches to 90% of their internal compartments. The space frame of the Halcyon class consists of five large hex hexagonal modules, with the main bridge slung underneath the ship's bow and the vessel's aft sections playing host to eight large docking bays used to carry numerous auxiliary craft. As with most UNSC designs, the Halcyon class is built around its primary weapon a high-yield magnetic accelerator cannon, but the ship's secondary armament is surprisingly light for a vessel of its size, carrying only four Shiva-class nuclear missile tubes, six Archer missile pods, and six 50mm point defence guns. Though this poor armament was considered a weak point of the ship's design, the Halcyon's incredible resilience allowed the vessel to engage the enemy for far longer periods, giving its small loadout a greater opportunity to inflict damage on a hostile target. In recognition of the retired vessel's merits, some Halcyon-class ships, such as the UNSC Pillar of Autumn, were retrofitted with a far more impressive loadout, exchanging the standard Mac gun for an enhanced version, capable of firing three-shot bursts, increasing the ship's point defence grid drastically, and adding a further 294 Archer missile pods, which afforded the ship a massive arsenal of 7,800 missiles. Another aspect of the Halcyon class which was drastically changed in this retrofit were the vessel's drive systems, which previously operated at only 10% of modern engine output, but provided much greater thrust following extensive improvements. The Halcyon class carried an extensive complement of Pelican dropships, longsword interceptors, Warthog FAVs and Scorpion tanks, as well as hundreds of marines. This allowed the ship to deploy a sizeable ground force when needed, and provided the vessel with a powerful defence against hostile boarding actions. This enormous internal space could also be reallocated for cargo storage, passenger transportation and emergency evacuation, which led to the vessel finding extensive use as a military supply carrier and troop transport. Though initially considered something of a joke within the fleet, the Halcyon class eventually found a vital role within the UNSC, and when properly outfitted, the ship could be a formidable adversary, often taking on multiple Covenant warships and emerging victorious. The vessel would eventually be replaced by the Marathon-class heavy cruiser, a modernised version of the Halcyon that eliminated many of its forebears' failings. And later still, the UNSC would commission the Autumn-class heavy cruiser, a cutting-edge modern warship based closely on the refits applied to some Halcyon-class vessels. Thank you for watching Space Dock. If you enjoyed this video, why not head over to Halo Cannon, where you can find my short taking a look at the magnetic accelerator cannons employed by the UNSC. Be sure to subscribe to both channels in time for this Thursday and Friday, the 24th and 25th, when two more collaborative videos will be released.